All right, everybody, this is a video that many of you have been waiting for oh so patiently. Uh, today, I'm gonna give you guys my long-term final review of the Salsa Anything Cradle. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers, and if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration around bike touring, bike packing, gravel riding, and bike fishing, then definitely subscribe. This channel is for you. So over the last couple months, I have been using the Salsa Anything Cradle whenever I can. I've taken it on a couple overnight trips, but also lots of day trips, just carrying my fishing gear down uh, rough trails over rocky terrain and just around town here in Missoula. So I feel like I've spent enough time with the Anything Cradle to really kind of gather up all my thoughts and feelings and share them with you guys in this final review. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the things I like and dislike about the Anything Cradle. Starting off with the first big like is that it actually holds on fairly well to the handlebar. Uh, you would expect that with a load and the long arms kind of cantilevering the weight in front of uh, the bike, that when you hit rough terrain, that would slowly kind of bounce its way down. Uh, but to my surprise so far, uh, with kind of light to moderate loads, I'm talking like three to six pounds in the front here, uh, there's enough clamping force and enough friction to keep that from happening. So granted, I've not done any super long extended trips where it's on a crazy single track, but on the rough trails that I've taken it on and on the single track I have ridden so far, uh, the, the rack itself has not moved. So I've actually put a little magic marker line so I can see if the arms themselves are tilting. And so far they've stayed put, which is a big surprise. Another big like is how easy it is to put on and remove from a bike. If I wanna take it off for mountain bikes and put it on our gravel bikes or on our throat uh, no problem the bolts are easily accessible there's no kind of like anti-rotation cables to fray you just undo the clamps flip them up and move them to your next bike another thing i really came to appreciate uh, about this system is the little velcro tabs on the bag in use it's great to use them to kind of hold up against the cradle as you secure uh, the main securing straps Another thing I really appreciated about the Anything Cradle is that you can carry different things with it. Yes, you can use the salsa specific dry bag, but you can also use others if you have others that you prefer. Also, you're not just limited to a dry bag. Last couple of weeks, I've been doing a lot of fishing with it. So I've been rolling up my waders and sticking a fly rod in there. And it's cool to kind of have the versatility of carrying different things that isn't confined by the dimensions of a bag. So that's it for the likes uh, of all the harness systems I've used so far. This by far is my favorite. Uh, it seems fairly sturdy. And I think if you're gonna use it on a road bike, uh, or a gravel bike where you're not hitting technical single track all the time that uh, I definitely trust the clamping forces on the Anything Cradle. So let's move on to the dislike. The first big dislike is somewhat aesthetic but also uh, is a functional thing and it's just that everything is so black, the arms, the cradle, the uh, bag, the straps, but functionally, uh, I'd like a little contrast to the system. Um, it would make it easier to kind of locate the straps and the buckles and the bag uh, when light gets dim, when you're breaking down uh, camp at night and when you're getting up early in the morning and to head out. So my second dislike, which is my biggest gripe about the system, is the straps that they use. I kind of alluded to it in the first look video, but there's this whole process of weaving uh, the straps into the Anything Cradle. You have to remove uh, part of the clip and then weave it through and then reinstall that clip. And I feel like, especially for something like this, it's nice to have a system that uh, isn't so complex. I can appreciate that the ladder lock uh, system keeps the straps from you know falling off the anything cradle when it's empty but I feel like they could have come up with a more elegant design. Another thing I didn't like about the straps is that they were kind of difficult to adjust especially if you're clipping on and off the accessory bag. You kind of have to uh, weave this whole length of strap through the ladder lock so that the male and female parts of uh, the strap mate up. So I feel like, again, there could have been a more elegant solution to the strap system and the accessory bag system. I did pick up a tip to kind of improve uh, the straps on the Anything Cradle, and that's to actually use these volet straps. I think they're typically used for, for ski bindings, but they're really simple, uh, they're high vis. There's really nothing to break, nothing to weave through. You just kind of loop it into itself and cinch it down. 
This, this strap itself has a little bit of elasticity, so it holds uh, tension and keeps your things in place. So if you do get the Anything Cradle and are kind of frustrated with the straps, uh, look into these Volet straps. This is the extra large version. Uh, this one's about 30 inches. It's a, it's a touch long. I probably would get something around the 25 inch range. Of course, you can get the extra long one and cut it down. One downside of using something like this though, uh, as opposed to the straps that they do have is that uh, when you empty out the Anything Cradle, there's nothing securing this to the rack, so this might fall off. Uh, although you could potentially zip tie one of these holes onto the Anything Cradle so that it's always attached to the cradle. And so that's really it for dislikes. Uh, it's really centered around the strapping system, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, but fortunately, there are options and different ways to kind of experiment with the Anything Cradle. It is fairly kind of an open modular design. So would I recommend this system? Uh, I think if you're gonna use it for road applications and gravel road applications, then definitely uh, in our experience, it holds up really, really well. If you're gonna be doing lots of rough single track uh, bike packing with it, I would still recommend it, um, although I have not uh, quite put it through those rigors. So I would be constantly watching uh, the arms to see if they would tip down. But overall, generally, I'm really impressed, uh, straps notwithstanding, and uh, I'm really looking forward to taking longer trips with it when the spring comes back to Montana. So are there any other long-term users out there of the Anything Cradle? How has it held up for you? Leave it in the comments below. I'm sure lots of people wanna know. And if you guys have any other questions about the Anything Cradle uh, system, leave those in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. And if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.